Okay, I got 10 minutes. I know I ain't done a video in a long time. Man, I've been grinding, man. I've been working. See, um, at one point I had slowed down because we were just doing um, videos for the How to Hustle and Win DVD. And uh, then, like, in the middle of, like, pre-production for the How to Hustle and Win DVD, which, you know, it's still coming out. But, you know, we got... Uh, I ain't gonna say sidetrack, man, because it's all growth and development, man. You know, we on the road, man. We going somewhere. We moving forward, man. May not necessarily be moving in a linear path, man, but we definitely moving forward. Um, and what basically what happened was, man, we just came across some uh, some new company ideas, man, some new opportunities, man, some opportunities that we really just want to take advantage of that we know for quite a while, but want to stop missing out on them. You know, like sometimes you know about the opportunity, but you just really not taking advantage of it because for whatever reason you're not ready you know like maybe you got some self-esteem no for real you might have some fear of failure you might have some doubts or you just might really uh have some subconscious thing going on where you really don't want the money now I'm not trying to be funny what i'm saying that i'm saying that you might really not want the money because you may be at a real unconscious or subconscious point where you know that you got a gap a void or something and money is not what is going to take to fill it. So you really want what's going, to, what's really going to fill your stomach. And so as a result, you're not going to eat the fucking popsicle. You feel what I'm saying? Like you know that money is 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 needed, but that may not be what you need at that point in time. And until you fill them other holes, um, you may not even be able to get to the money. Um, so that's deep, you know, because a lot of people be thinking that oh yeah, I don't know what's keeping you from getting to the money, but. You may need to do a quick self-analysis and see what else uh, do you need to be getting to besides the money. Because there's way more to life than that. Um, anyway, we're launching a few new companies, to make a long story short. And um, that kind of leads me to what I wanted to speak on, man. Something that I think that would be of use to everybody that subscribes to me and follows along what I've been talking about. Man, share this with your friends, man, if you find it useful. Um, I'm going to show you how to calculate... You know, I'm using this other camera, man. I don't really like how, how it holds. Um, I'm going to show you how to calculate your hourly wage, right? Now, that sounds pretty self-explanatory, man. That sounds real simple, right? Like, oh, well, you know, I work at uh, I work at Walmart. I make $10 an hour, you know? Um, over time, I get paid this much, right? But no. See, this is why we study mathematics, right? And by mathematics, I'm, I'm speaking on the complex uh, uh, uh number values and, and relationships that kind of uh, not only govern, but help us understand the way that life works. See, life is all mathematical if you understand the numbers behind it all, you know? And it ain't got to be like the matrix where you're seeing through the code. Like, some of it is really right out there in your face. Like, yeah, you make $10 an hour, but how much time are you taking away from other things that are valuable? Not just your children and not just your other relationships. But how much time are you taking away with all them damn long ass hours at the store, at the office, or at the, uh, you know, at wherever you work from possibly developing your own business idea? Like you're sitting on it, you got it, the idea is a good one, but you can't build it because you're busy slaving away at some factory somewhere. And, um,. The idea is going to die. As I've said before, man, ideas got a shelf life, man, because when you come up with an idea, man, it's drawn on all the, the atmosphere. Like, you know how there's water in the atmosphere at all times? Well, the, everything that's in the atmosphere is what informed your idea. You was factoring in so many variables, you didn't even know about it. You was thinking about the climate. You was, And what I mean by climate is the attitudes of the people around you. You was thinking about the way that the economy is going right now. You was thinking about all these things, whether you consciously know it or not. And that's what gave you this idea. And so the idea was ripe to be picked at that time when you came up with it. But over time, the variables have changed and your idea has not. So now you try to implement your ideas eight months after you first came up with it and you wonder why it's not really registered. Well, it might really be because it's no longer the time for it. Your idea is out of season. You either have to wait for a time when it's back in season again or revise your idea or pick a new one. So... You know, when you're calculating your money, you need to look at those types of things. So let's say you're running your own thing, you're self-employed, right? You got, or you got a hustler, whatever you want to call it, right? Well, you need to look at not just how much money did you make today, but how much work did you do to get that money? How much stress did it take, right? See, all these things count. See, when you go to any other job, you're going to look at the benefits, right? 
Well, when you got a hustle, you need to look at the benefits also. Like, are you getting the, the emotional value out of this hustle? Or is it like, for example, when I was like when I was hustling, selling, you know, slum and all that other bullshit, I I really I got too much of a conscience. Like I didn't like it. Just even like with, with selling dope, like I didn't I couldn't do that shit for long. I did not. I didn't feel good about it. Like I saw how easy the money was, but I just couldn't live with the effects on how I felt at the end of the day. You know, seeing mamas coming with their kids, like at, right fresh from school, like I just it just wasn't something that. In my mind, balanced out. Now, some people they find a way to balance it. Others, they just can't. You know. And then you got a question like, is it worth that sacrifice? Is it worth me sacrificing my conscience? You know, to to make money in this way. Other things you need to look at, uh, not just the amount. Like for example, let's say you're doing T-shirts, right? Now, let's say you're making custom t-shirts, right? You're selling them for $30. Hey, that's good for a custom t-shirt, right? You only pay $2 for the shirt, $1 for the paints and all the other materials, right? But you done spent an hour making a shirt. Now, how much are you getting paid per hour? Well, you done made a $27 profit, right? So you would tell yourself that you're making $27 per hour. No, you're not making $27 per hour because how long did it take you to sell it? How much marketing did it take? See, now you're down to, okay, now you're making $15 an hour. That's not bad. But it's not good if you only sell one shirt every five days because now you got to split that up over five days. Now you're not making $15 an hour. Now you're making less than $1 an hour. You feel me? So do the math. Do the math because one thing I always tell people when they ask me, should I quit my day job when they talk about how their hustle's going? I say, look, calculate how much you make per hours that you work at your hustle and see if it is equal to or more than what you make at your day job and if you see that the amount of work that you put in and the amount of money you get the the hourly rate hourly rate plus other things that you got to factor in other kind of subtle variables that you got to factor in equal out to you making more money than you do at your day job plus the benefits is just as good go ahead and start making that move just make sure you're ready to put in double the work you know and i hope that helps some of y'all uh, aspiring business owners, hustlers, entrepreneurs, and uh, corporate folks. You know how to hustle and win. Check out hustlingwin.com for more. Peace.